Welcome, Filippo Lanza and Jim Best. Thanks for being with us. Hi, good morning. So um, let's start. What's the main difference between Edge Invest Newman's investment approach and other funds investing in sovereign and corporate bonds? And what do you think is your main edge? What we're trying to do uh, differently from uh, the mainstream competition and, and, and other funds active in Europe is to uh, try to apply the analytical framework that we develop in the traditional credit investing uh, in the last uh, couple of decades and to apply that to the new risks that have emerged uh, in the last few years, especially after the credit crunch in 2008. Uh, the main application field we focus in our credit skills and, and, and our credit analysis is uh, issuers and risk uh, linked to uh, sovereign issuers and financial institutions. Typically, those two uh, large issuers were considered to be risk-free. They were incredibly uh, liquid, uh, in part because of the low level of risk. But now, partly because of the credit crunch, part because of the um, uh, specific uh, uh, institutional framework in the European Union, now those have become pure credit risk, where, whereby you need to have an assessment and a view of what, is, of what is the ability and the willingness of the issuers to make good on their contractual promise. So that's the main difference, I would say, between us and the rest of the competition, is trying to apply a traditional credit uh, skill set developed in corporate credits, but this time to apply to the most traditional macro investment uh, field, which is sovereign and bank issuers. So what's the target in terms of return and risk? We are targeting around probably 7 to 9% in terms of absolute return uh, post fees on a yearly basis. Uh, the volatility we're willing to accept for that is around 3 to 4%. Um, of course, we need to be mindful of what happened in the last few years that, uh, where we've seen uh, frequently uh, movement of four or five standard deviation compared to the expectations. So again, within, if we are successful with our uh, risk management framework and if the market is going to give us the opportunity that we think will be there, we should be easily uh, managed to beat the target and go above uh, the double digit uh, number for the returns. What are the main uh, investment opportunities in terms of strategy and uh, what's the current positioning of the fund? Uh, the main focus in terms of strategy and that sort of reflect, I would say, um, proportionally the, the, the portfolio composition as of now uh, is mainly three areas. One, which is the one we just described, which is uh, credit investment in sovereign and bank issuers in Europe, so it could be any, anywhere, anything from Greece to Germany, either through bonds or credit for swaps, and at the same time, banks um, uh, in, the, in the European Union in those countries, and that's, I would say, probably, they occupy and absorb around a third of the capital fund. The second strategy is uh, what I would define the traditional credit space, so any sort of relative value, long, short uh, positioning based on credit views on corporate issuers and, and, and various corporate risk, whether it is loans, bonds, convertibles, and, and so on. The third area, which is something that uh, became available for investment in the last few years, is what we call the hyper-liquid credits, which is basically uh, a subsector of the credit market which is made of indexes and other super-liquid, uh, um, either bonds or credit for swaps of uh, very large and liquid issuers, and on those we're trying to uh, basically uh, achieve two, two goals. One is to capture some of the overall volatility, which is still very high in Europe and, and has been higher uh, since the, the, the credit crunch in 08 compared to the uh, historical norm. And at the, second, at the same time, we're trying to mitigate the overall risk profile and the beta embedded in the other two strategies. So the hyperliquid credits effectively works both as a sort of uh, hedge tool and uh, mit risk mitigation tool, and at the same time, they're trying to produce uh, on their own some, uh, some performance. Thank you very much. Thank you.